number five. So you ever have one of those days where you just don't have the time, but you paid for the meal, so you're going to make the meal. But I'm loving my everyday plate. So or every, I call it everyday plate, but it's every plate. All right, for those that are coming back on the replay, I have been doing the every plate subscription. And they'll tell you it takes five minutes and it takes 40 minutes to cook. Well, what I've run into so far in the last few weeks doing them is they never take me five minutes. They've taken me longer than five minutes. So what I've decided to do today on some of the things that take me a while, I'm going to hack them. I'm going to hack them and see if I can bring the time down a little lower because there's somewhere to go today. And I want to have dinner done so I'm not tempted to take my kids out to eat on the way home. And I just went ahead and started the video without actually cleaning my kitchen. So it's going to clean as I cook this one up. So some of the ways, so the things in this one, I'm doing the Tuscan herb chicken. Let me know if you've done this one. Um, I feel like it's faster, but I've done a few that say it should be five minutes and it still took me way too much time. Um, but again, I'm a family of eight. And so I get eight servings of this recipe. So this is going to call for six cloves of garlic. I am not cutting the garlic today. Not cutting the garlic. Let's see. Where is it at? I'll compromise. I'm not going to peel the garlic, but I will cut the garlic. Maybe I'll cut the garlic. My garlic doesn't look so good. But I'll cut the garlic. I'm just not going to peel the garlic. I don't even think I'm cutting the garlic. This stuff doesn't look good. Like and subscribe. Oh, that's so cute. Show them. Show them. You got to get closer so they can see the writing. Can you put it up there? I guess she went outside. I'm doing a live video. Have you seen my garlic? My whole goal is not to cut the garlic today. All right, Orville, you can move that now. All right, let me see. Oh, so my whole goal is not to cut the garlic, and I think I'm, oh, here it is, here it is, all right, large right, so garlic, so I'm not going to cut the garlic today, I'm going to substitute, I will use that garlic up in another way, also, I'm not going to cut the Roma tomatoes, two reasons, and I'm going to get my Roma tomatoes. They should be fine, but my Roma tomatoes don't look phenomenal. They don't look ready. I have a lot of people in the house. School is out. Here we go into summer. Um, I'm just not going to bother with them, and I don't want to cut them. So I'm hacking this one by using diced tomatoes. I looked on here. It says on the back of the can it's three and a half servings. I'm going to drain them. For eight servings, I'm going to use two cans. All right. Tuscan heat, which is these little packets, and for eight, I needed four. Um, the chicken breast, we're going to talk about how small these little chicken breasts are. Linguini, I have four of these. Um, here's my cute little sour creams, and then my Parmesan cheese. So it says I need butter, which I have right here, salt and pepper, and olive oil. Maybe. No, my olive oil is still on the counter. Will you do that over there on that table? And would you not use that cup? All right. Um, what do I need? I need a cutting board. Oh, somebody who's doing dishes is fixing to be in trouble because they are not putting things back right. All right, so let's see what are we doing today. So bring a large pot of salt water to boil. So we got to get the pasta ready because that's always what takes the most time. What I'm going to show you is why they're in trouble. This is not how things belong. But this tetra mound is how things were put back. And to make new habits. Who has kitchen? This son has kitchen. So he's going to have to reorganize that. Oh. So 
since I started decluttering, that's the worst that cabinet has looked ever. And I'm just going to say, like, I definitely see the difference that organizing things well makes it so much easier to get in. And that was actually more work than it should have been. All right. Whew, so today is the first day of school or the first day of summer. Well, it's the last day of school. I don't know. We're going to do a homeschool recap of like, did my kids survive a whole year of public school? soon but not today because today look i'm already five minutes in i'm not even got the water boiling i'm not even at step one every time okay so it says but i want to save so much time because it says step one is bring a large pot of salt water to boil wash and dry produce peel garlic thinly slice garlic cloves and finally chop the cloves dice a tomato well that's going to be easy Alright. It's not loading. Anyone else having issues? Am I having issues? Yeah, tell me. Can you not hear me? It's not loading at all? What are you looking for? That's what you're doing. Okay. Um, can you hear yet let's find out what's going on because that wouldn't be good mine buffered for a minute then straight out straightened up okay good so jennifer you made it thank you all right so hack number one get this going all right so there listen this is already easier because i've heard one all right what's number two place chicken in media pat with paper towels add a drizzle of oil Chopped garlic, half the Tuscan spice. I think that's whole. No, that'd be half. Right, because it's not one on one, because I already had that problem one time. Um, um, no, it's two. So, because <laughs> I had that with the panko, remember? All right, so I need to dry my chicken. So I'm going to go ahead, and what I found that works really, really well. With my whole chicken drying thing is boys doing dishes. Yeah, there's things that just don't belong in here. Oh, hold on. I don't even think he washed this. I don't think he washed my thing. How does that help? Random question. Do you press your can on your stove? I'm about to start and said you can't do it on glass top. I pressure can on my glass top, but I will say I've noticed is um, I don't think my stove does that good anymore. Um, so I don't know if it was from pressure canning on it or if it was used when I got it. Um, in fact, and it's more than just the stove top, it's the oven. That's not doing great. See, real life, I got to clean. I so want to chew them out right now that I'm cleaning this pan. But um, it's not just the, um, it's not just the stove top. It's actually the oven. Yep, and my eggs are still out. So let's go back to my perfect kitchen. It doesn't have all that going on. Um, and I'm totally, who's that? And I'm totally going to, oh, I knew I was close. My appointment's in two hours. I knew I was going to close. We're all way because that's no longer good. All right, so what I found helps with the chicken, if I can then find scissors, um, is actually just, Lily, will you bring me that garbage can over here, please? Is to just, I do the chicken in here, if that makes sense. All right, so yes, I do use my pressure canner. Um, on my glass stove top, I've done it for years that way and I haven't had a problem. What I found is it's not always a consistent heat with the glass tops and, um, I have to go, I'm swimming, I'm going to swimming, catch back up. All right, I'll see you soon. Um, 
Yeah, we got, I'm only doing this so we don't go to like Culver's or something ridiculously expensive. But I do have like enough ice cream um, scoops, so I might take them to Culver's to um, give them an ice cream, but not dinner. Not dinner. So this is me trying to stay frugal by not taking them out to eat. So that's why I'm trying to get this done. But these are working nice. And I'm going to say, like, we moved it to Tuesday, but I might have to move it again to Monday. Might be a better day than Tuesday because our, it's it's already Thursday. And, yeah, I ran out of time. So I think it would be better if I did this Monday. All right. So now that that's a, I got the craziest itch, like, on the tip of my nose. Yes, thank you. Don't forget to give me thumbs up. All right. So I put it in here. So I'm letting it kind of drain. And then what does it say? Add, pat dry, okay, in a medium bowl. I'm gonna do a large bowl. So where's my paper towel? Just grab a few of these. I went, did I tell you? I'm still itching. Um, uh, all right, I am cooking the, I should have put that in the show notes. The every plate Tuscan herb chicken over creamy tomato linguine. I'm hacking it. I don't have time to cut the tomatoes or the garlic or any of that. So I'm using a can in lieu of the tomato. And I'm using the minced garlic over cutting it myself. Because it's real life. And that's how it's going. And now I'm rubbing my poor chicken little meat like it says. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, I was at the, I was at the store and I was so, sh at the price, I mean, I know the price of everything's gone up, but as I've been like being really mindful of how I'm spending money, I, paper towels. And I'm like, well, I want paper towels because I don't want to do this with my, I'm going to be honest. I don't want to do raw chicken with my, um really good, you know, like my everyday, there's something I'll be grossed out. I'll be thinking, Oh, you know, I've really messed up or something. Um, so I do want paper towels in my life. I had a season, a season that I had no paper towels in my life. You see what I'm doing? Like I, I keep stacking my towels. Um, and I don't quite want to go back to that, but I also don't want it to be a free for all. Like we don't need to use paper towels to eat dinner. I have napkins. They wash up beautifully. We can use those. And I have one of my kids. She actually prefers them. So she's a lot like my dad. Um, which is awesome. Um, oh, that's what I was going to talk to you about. Look how little these like little chickens are. And normally I'd be like, there's no way that's going to feed us all. But it does, which is amazing. Amazing. Um today was the last day of school. I swear it was like the longest day ever. My high schooler got out of school at noon, but I'm not driving back and forth. So we were in town, which then included an ice cream. Um, we have this amazing store. It's a Mexican ice cream shop. I don't know half of what they serve there, but what I do get is always amazing. I gotta wash my hands. Um, is amazing and i get this one called opinion they call opinion it's p-i-n-o-n -N. um and it is roasted pineapple seeds it is like a tropical butter pecan is all i can explain it it is so stinking good and what i love about the place is the cups are only two dollars so you can get a little cup of ice cream for $2 and that is affordable to me. And it's like just enough. And I've gone like with my husband, he's like, I want the $4 cup. I'm like, yeah, have fun with that. You'll never want to finish it. It's too much ice cream. I don't know. It's so rich. It's so good that it's, it is hard to finish. And, um, down to the last one. So we were there and then I stopped. We have another formal. I didn't post that video picture. 
um, Saturday. And so um, with that, I needed a new dress and we kind of messed up dates. Well, it's getting here tomorrow morning. I go and get it fitted tomorrow at 11 and then I pick it up on Saturday to wear it Saturday night. Last minute, totally last minute. Okay, those are done. I gotta wash my hands, that's gross. But, oh, there's a lot of liquid that came up. You can't see it. Um, so, we did that. I had to go by the pharmacy. My pharmacist called me. I have a really amazing pharmacist. I gotta add more soap. That doesn't feel good. Add more soap. Okay. 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 So I had to go by the pharmacy and pay because whatever. Um, I go by there. And then we just sat in line all day. It just felt like we sat, we were in the car line forever. All right. What does it say? Drizzle with olive oil. Alrighty, that probably is more than a drizzle. I use these. Oh, it says, look, I'm using the right tool. It gives me a picture. Um. All right, so what does it say? What do I got to do here? Add that at half the garlic. It should tell me. One teaspoon equals one clove of garlic. Four cloves, thin sliced like four cloves per serving. All right, so four cloves, two teaspoons. Yep, yep, mama lazy way. Mama survival mode way, but we're going to eat something amazing, so it'll be fine. It's, gonna, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I don't know. I So spending the whole day in the car, and then um, spending the whole day. Make sure it comes out. That might be a little bit more. I will say the fresh garlic smells so much better. It's such a stronger smell than this, but we're just getting it done. This is survival. This is a life of survival at the moment. All right, what does it say? Half the Tuscan heat, salt, and pepper. Um, what does it say? So, okay. Half the Tuscan heat, salt and pepper, turn chicken to thoroughly coat, set aside. Once water is boiling, add pasta to pot, cook until dente, reserve half a cup of pasta water, then drain. Or one cup for four servings, or two cups for eight servings. Remember that. Remind me when I'm like, what? While pasta cooks, heat a drizzle of oil in large pan over. Okay, okay. So I need to move down to my not as amazing burner. So that's why I run into this um, stove. This is my best burner. The other one is not. Oh, and I have no idea where you put the pot lid. Oh, here it is. Oh, is it clean enough? It's clean. I'm going to cover that to let that get going. Okay, so back to what I was doing. Okay. It actually says, so look, it says half of the Tuscan and then down here it says the remaining Tuscan because you know that was a whole issue with panko all right so half of that so that's going to be two of these packets for me because I'm doing eight I'm doing eight today so I am excited I've been actually doing a call out to like oh my nose the tip of my nose right um what a time for it to itch so I think I had so I did a call out to like all my people like, listen, how, and this was a good question because somebody was like, how are you not, you don't have the energy going into homeschool. How are you going to like not get burned out? Question of the year, folks. That's like a genius question. I was like, good question. I need to think about that. So that's like one of my favorite things, like why I love you guys, because like you totally ask me things and I'm like. I need to make a plan. So, um, I sat and gave some thought, like what has made us just so burnout? Well, one, never having a break makes me burnt out. 
So I definitely need to make sure I'm taking care of me this year. And it works out easier than in the past because I actually have self-sufficient kids where years ago when you have a 10 year old, six years ago when I have a 10 year old, um, you can't leave a 10 year old. You can leave a 10 year old at home, but you can't leave a 10 year old with a two year old or one year old. And even at 12 was like, yeah, not yet. Not with a two year old. Um, so you know, there were those times that that like was not an option to leave them. But now, you know, I have one almost 17 years old, way different scenario. And my youngest is six. So it's a whole different scenario. Some of you, not you, but you know, you over there, it, um, will get upset. Like you should never leave or blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, that's not my reality. I love you. That is, do you, boo? Do you? Because before, you know, so I didn't have that ability just to like go for a walk. I'd have to wait till my husband came home and then he'd be like, well, what's for dinner? And I'm like, why are you speaking to me? It's five o'clock or no, he didn't get home at five. He worked, he didn't get home till like six, six thirty. But it was a little bit like six thirty after a day with day being momming on with six kids homeschooling was the equivalent of six in the morning before coffee. It just, it was not happening. Hey, I, I did that. That's done. Wow. Okay. That's done. I think I need to, okay. It said I should wait. It's not boiling yet. This is what I like about this pan either. So what you can't see, so I've overheated it and now the bottom is see how that spins now the bottom is actually caved up because it's not heating evenly at all dang it and it heated too quick because i already had the burner on i don't like about that stove all right so what do we need next let's be prepared i'm gonna do a dish clean the dish out um clean my chicken dish so that when I do my pasta, I can do pasta. Sorry, give me just a second. Just a second. So I bought this like little strainer at um, Dollar Tree because I seen this geniusness that somebody used the strainer to um, hold on. They use the strainer to put in the pot to drain the pot. I don't need that, right? I don't need that. I don't need that. Hold on. Hold on. All right. All right. Throwing that away. Throwing that away. Throwing that away. All right. So what does it say? It says, I'm just getting ahead of myself because, you know, that's important. You know what? It wants me to mix my stuff inside the the linguine i'm going to put this pan up because i'm making it for eight and then i'll have to deal with this thing being a whirly bird and i am going to use my big pot i'm gonna use my bigger pot so then it will be in my mind easier i don't think i can do all the chicken at once anyways like i can with a bigger one but i think it'll work out better i'm running into as i'm dealing with minimizing minimalism i don't know because my house is a mess again and i'm like trying to declutter without making a mess like dana k says but like my husband brought down this huge tv and i'm like now it's in my living room you didn't take it any farther than that. That reminds me. Ah! Oh, if he was in here, I was going to make him move the TV. How? I don't think he's in here. He'll just wait. Make him move the TV. So I've still been walking every morning, which has been doing me phenomenal. And I've been tracking my steps. Let's see. I'm at... Like 9,600 or 9,500 already today. So that's good. 
um, I've been trying, trying to like, I feel like as I make way in my minimizing, then I lose way in my dieting. Or if I make way in my dieting, I lose way in my minimizing or my spending. It's like this constant, like I'm trying to keep all three plates moving. Um, so I decluttered and I took out some bookshelves, but I haven't dealt with stuff. I got rid of the containers, but now the stuff is all over my house. And I got to get on that. And I'm trying to make like a really good plan for homeschooling soon next year so i have it laid out i know what i'm doing because sometimes i'm like i don't want to do the curriculum too much you know finding that balance between everything like we talked about and so i have some ideas so i'm kind of planning some stuff out um my girls really want to do a textbook curriculum and we've been doing cla for reading but i really want to incorporate the lost tools of writing okay so, okay, thank you. So I really want to do some LTW incorporation. So I'm thinking instead of a actual box curriculum, pair up like, pro have you done this one? Progeny Press Literature Studies is what I'm thinking. And I'm thinking about getting the PDF so then I can just put what I need. I can kind of take it apart without feeling like I'm tearing up a book because I, I have a hard time tearing up books. I try to be good with it, but I have a hard time. So I'm trying to do um, Progeny. I'm looking at Progeny Press. There's a couple other ones, um, even Teacher Pay Teacher, but doing like a literature study, like so I can kind of assign the chapters per day with a set of questions and get a good plan for how far out we go um, is what I'm looking at. And incorporating the last tools of writing and i'm actually incorporating all but one book from the cc challenge a book list because i did it before so i'm like i'm like okay yeah well that's not wearing me i don't really want to wait what do you think what do you think let me look at the instructions hmm. I don't think I have to wait. I'm not going to do it. Not waiting. All right. One more strainer out though. Oh, look, I've been trying to figure out. I'll just use this little one. So then I'll use, I'll do my tomatoes. This way I have my tomatoes ready. I'm just trying to be efficient. Oh, it's not working. Oh, there it goes. Like it, if you have that, um, so I'm just pouring this in here so that I'm not using all the juice to let my, so I'm having more tomato, not just canned diced tomatoes. Um, yeah, it's been one of those days, you know, it's been one of those days. So I'm trying to work on like, what am I going to use to feed my kids this summer? What am I, you know, if I'm homeschooling my kids, what am I going to use? Do I have a plan? I don't want to plan on the fly. I'm looking kind of for a co-op. I'm going in. I'm going to start cooking the chicken because, you know, it takes me longer anyway. And then when it's done, that's what I'll use the cutting board for because I'm not even using the cutting board today. That is so cool. But I'm trying to figure out like what to do. And I put a call out to so many people about um, like what are options. That's probably more than a drizzle. Just my pan keeps kind of soaking it up. That's probably still too much. But like figuring out how long do I cook this? Six to eight minutes on each side. Yeah, I need to start this now. Oh, it already smells so good. Oh, I don't know what this Tuscan heat is, but I think I love it. It, it like smells legit like a, a restaurant. Just putting this in, it smells like a restaurant. Oh, I can put four of them in here. All right, that's not bad. Okay. And I'm 
am a newfound lover of patting the the meat the protein dried so much better co-ops and i'm like i don't want to stop not sure about that and then in our area it's not to get in with that um and i'm i'm talking to one mom and i'm like i should be like yeah i want to get into that and i just find myself like hmm, i don't know and then i started looking at like an hour radius like is there a museum that does a homeschool day and trying to find those types and i'm thinking like i might be more that style where we go to something that hosts a homeschool day and we can pick and choose on going not that but just so that i don't feel like i'm letting somebody down who prepared something and i hate to say it but i kind of just would rather pay for it when we use it not every time what are your thoughts on that um for doing that like how if you homeschool i know this is supposed to be cooking hot mess cooking but if you homeschooled how would you um how would you handle that how would you go about that um hold on just some people thrive in that homeschool group and i don't know this is probably why I don't have like best friends I do everything in my life with because am I a non-committal person? I don't think so. But you know, I have a lot of things in my life that get in the way and I never can, you know, go through and then it's just so exhausting on me. But then there's also another part of, got my stick. There's also this other part. Has that been six minutes? I don't think so. Um, I don't know. I forgot. It. I forgot it. It's been one of those days. The kids are out of school today. But I'm hoping this hack makes it quicker. Because it said a total of 40 minutes and it's ready. We might get there because I mean it was like six eight minutes before I got going in and now yeah we might get to this we might get it done and hopefully and then make a time because what time do I have to get here it's 4 30 my time right now yeah and I gotta be somewhere at 6 10 so I have to have this done fed my kids by like 6 5 30 so in an hour I can do that we'll be using Christian Liberty Press and easy peasy for the coming school year. I like easy peasy. I wish my kids liked easy peasy, but I like easy peasy. They're kind of not so much. Oh, that looks really good. I can put another one in. Right, so you get that TV and put it on the porch for me. Put it, yeah, put it and put it on that table on the porch. Yeah. Do you want to play or do you want to? But the TV stands in. So what I'm really liking, so even though they're small chicken, um, I don't know, it reminds me of being a kid because patting it dry and then cooking it and not a lot of oil, it really has this nice crust on it that, it's like how chicken used to be. I cannot believe how phenomenal that is. Cassie says, I prefer to pay as you go versus prepay. I haven't had luck with groups either. They were clickish, no available slots or not in my ear. Yeah, and, or I kind of, I ran into some where the um, lessons were very skewed to propaganda versus the whole picture. I've had that, or I've had it where I'm older. I feel like, you know, did I tell you that? Like, maybe I should start a geriatrics and young children homeschool group for the geriatric mom, like me. Um, I just feel like there's, sometimes they're younger, and if there's not a mix of older moms in the group, and if I'm the only older mom, then, I don't know. 
they stay. I, 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 there's not a lot of fitting going on, if that makes sense, fitting in. And when I started homeschooling, all right, when I was already older, I didn't know anybody homeschooling. Like, nobody in my area was homeschooling that I knew of. And so it's all a very like, oh, you know, okay, I'm on my own on this. And then there got to be new people homeschooling, but they were such younger moms. And I love their energy, but I'm going to tell you at 30, I thought I had it all figured out. And I didn't. We all had success with Harcart's All-in-One and the 180-Day Series. I skipped out what's propaganda for fun learning, reading eggs, and math online. Jennifer says, I'm over four, 45 with four, a four-and-a-half-year-old. I totally get the geriatric feeling. Yeah, I don't have that energy. They're like, we're going to be meeting at the park, and everybody's going to take turns. I'm saying this with love because I was this mom at 30. I'm just not this mom anymore. But they're like, our snack needs to coordinate with our whatever. And I'm just like, and I used to do that. I mean, I made, I made, um, what are those called? Bitmo, bin, um, bento box lunches before bento boxes was a thing because I thought it was totally cool. Like I used to have this and I still have it and I need to kick it out this summer because I am promising myself. I've not put it on the calendar, but I'm promising myself once a week to take my two littles off to do the fun things that I did with my other kids. And what I have to remember is those fun things was just surviving, you know, was just survival mode. See, these are beautiful. I don't know. Can you smell a vision? Look how beautiful these look. That's my chicken. Um, let me get these in. Hold on. I, I can't do two things at once. Put that one over. Pop this one in. My water is still not boiling. I'm only 39 and I'm definitely in the geriatric club, right? The geriatric homeschool mom group. And so, um, I used to do all that stuff. Oh, so I'm going to make sure. I'm sorry, I'm losing track. I'm old. I'm old. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure that, like, take my little guys and keep it reminding myself, like, it was um, survival mode back then. And so it's just reminding myself, like, easy. What are you doing that's making me crazy? Don't do that, please. Yeah. So I had a meeting last week and I got to meet with Congressman Greg Stubbe, very good looking, handsome man, very nice, you know, just a really, his presence in the room is like, you feel his presence in the room. He's a really neat man. But I couldn't coordinate my, my child care pickup. And so the goal was <clears throat> my daughter, my oldest, would be able to pick them up so I can meet with Greg Stubbe for the things that, you know, this meeting I'm supposed to have. And listen, when I say a meeting, I'm not talking like I'm sitting there meeting with him. I'm in the background, right? And I've been raising these kids and my two are just a little bit wild. They're just come out of school. And I'm over there. And they're not making any noise, but I want no noise out of them whatsoever. And Mr. Greg Stubbe, I think he has a couple of young kids um, and a beautiful wife, you know, beautiful wife, a couple of young kids. And I'm just on my kids. I do not want to hear them. And he's like, they're fine. And I'm like, mm -hmm. and I'm like trying everything. And I'm like, I'm not having a conversation with you about the fact that I'm old, a little old school and some stuff. Number two, I cannot concentrate with them. I'm like, I can't think I'm supposed to be taking these notes. So anyways, that was, that's my little side story. So here she is over here playing with her like envelope, scooting it around. I can't think. My like, brain's going. Those look good. So anyway, so I'm trying to remember like the things I used to do so that I can go and um, take them to do those things and maybe pack these little lunches I used to do and just make it special and do something each week leading in. And maybe that will help set the tone 
for our homeschool to put me back in focus on the little kids. Give me that time to just not be in front of my computer, probably be on my phone, um, going to parks and just getting them out. So I'm hoping any good words, any good words of advice on that one. And then, and then making sure like finding one or two things like my middle school kids would really like, like we're going to go to like a couple of museums on their homeschool days. I don't know my baby, my young ones, I think they'll be up for anything, but then also go find stuff that focuses on my young ones is my other thought. not boiling still it's on high so as soon as these chickens get done i'm gonna put it over here all right where am i at where am i at Who's this one done and i'm not too concerned because like i i cut it up and i'm gonna mix it up with maybe the chicken so it says stir in half the reserve of pasta, stir, bring to a simmer, then stir a ton of heat. Oh, so the chicken sits on the side. I was going to say, it's not going to be bad, but I'm probably going to put the chicken in it and stir it all up. So then, and I cut it up smaller, so then I don't have kids, like, I don't know, because then it feels like there's more food. I used to do that with doing, um beans and sausage i'd take the sausage and cut the sausage really really tiny so every bite had a piece of sausage without you eating big parts of sausage so i didn't have to cook so much but anyway so i'm trying to figure out ways to get into that um so i'm like okay i need to even if it's just walking by myself in the morning i need to go do that and one of my think one of my thoughts in that is I've been nervous about today coming for the last four weeks because I use quiet fidget toys like bubble pop toys and stretchy things to keep so I'm sitting quiet. That's a good one. Um, I was raised by my grandparents for a good part, so I definitely have a hard time letting go of children are to be seen and not heard. And that's not what I want, but I, I find myself fall into that all the time. Like I feel guilty for the world around me. And I know that's not how it is anymore. And then at the same time, I can't think. Have you considered going to antique stores? It's a treasure trove of history under one roof. But I might come home with the stuff and I have too much stuff. In fact, I was on the phone with my girlfriend today. And she's like moving back to private school. And she's like, I have so much stuff. I need to clear it out. I'm like, I don't want it all. Don't give it all to me. And so, in fact, we went. And I'm like, just tell me what the stuff is. And so she's going through her huge pile. And she's like, the who was book, um, the White House. I'm like, oh, I don't have that one. Yes. I'm literally like, yes, no, thank you. Yes, please. No, thank you. Yes, please. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yes, please. Yes, please. You know, through her whole stack and like divided. It. And it was perfect. I didn't have to go there because I didn't have time. I don't have time until next week. And then she's gone. And then at the same time, she knows what I want and she can get rid of the rest. However, she sees fit and she's not waiting on me. I was like, that was awesome. Um, so that was phenomenal. But I'm trying not to bring stuff home. So one of the thoughts I had was all these opens at 9 a.m. And there's this beautiful place to walk by one of the Aldi's I could go to. And making a point like once, at least once a week, going and walking in the morning along the water before... Um, Paint by sticker books are a huge hit to keep them occupied at appointments. <gasps> Smart. Um, going walking and then going grocery shopping. And that kind of relieves the pressure I'm having that I've had for the last four weeks about coming to today. One of the things I've been telling myself for the last four weeks to keep my shopping minimal is if I need something, I can go any day, every day, and go get that one item. So don't buy what you might need because that's what gets me in trouble every time is oh my god i might need that i might need this go and get what you need right now and if you need it again you can come back in three days so i was at aldi's and i seen something and i was like oh, i wanted to grab like a lot of them and stockpile them and i'm like no 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 i can come back in a couple of days i can come back by friday tomorrow's friday i don't think i'm going back tomorrow 
I could. I don't need to, though, so I'm good. But I'm just like, I can come back. I don't need it right now. And so the idea that I can put, like, that little reward to me on, I can go walk somewhere else. I don't have to walk my neighborhood. I can make a treat for myself if I need to go to the grocery store. And I don't have to, I can go back if I'm out of something. I think it's going to pair up. But, I mean, I'm literally going to have to write this down to remind myself because I get in ruts. And trying to not be in a rut. All right. These look spectacular. Okay. So now, what does it say I do? What does it say I do? Melt eight tablespoons of butter. A whole stick of butter. And the pasta is not. Oh, I'm going to switch pots, though. I'm going to, because I swear this is hotter than this one. And this is on six, and this one's on hot. So I'm going to move this over here. Move this one over here, and maybe that will get my pasta going. I need a new stove. I told my husband. He heard it the other day. He's like, what is that sound? I'm like, that's the stove. He's like, so I'm hoping to get a gas stove. Aldi is hard, though, because so many of their things don't stay in stock or come back. Yeah, I'm learning to live. I mean, I still, like, when I went to Aldi's, I did Aldi's, and then I went to Walmart and got, like, the four other things. Like, I didn't buy the cheese there. I probably should have. Oh, 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 I'm fixing to burn it. Dog nab it. Oh, it's, I'm going to, hold on. Oh, I hope I didn't burn that. Then I gotta scrape it all out. Not the piece of purpose. Ah, oh. the stove. The stove of pain. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I really wanted to cook it in here, and it's hot now. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't even like this pan anymore. It's always something, isn't it? I got talking. Hold on, I gotta figure this out. Okay. Let me see, let me see. It, I, it can't be easy, can it? Can it? It just can't be easy. Mm. It smells burnt. I don't think I'm gonna get to do this. Um, we love our Aldi's, but I've learned to check expiration dates. And once I got a ham with typos in the cooking instructions. Oh, that's not good. I gotta wash the dang pot. I have to wash the pot. But hey, look what's finally boiling. Just about. Isn't that crazy? So, essentially... That was not heating the water up very quickly. I move them and it instantly burns my oil in there. But I think what it is, is it doesn't get out and around enough. Let me wash this real quick. Washing it real quick. All right. Let me see if I can. And the handles are so stinking hot. But I already know what happens. I know what happens when you wash. I'm going to turn it around. It's the best I got. I already know what happens when you cook something with burnt in it. It never. I I haven't had that. Okay, I don't go to Aldi's very much anymore. I used to go a lot when they first came to town because I was like, oh, this is amazing. Um, but not so much. I do like, you know, there's certain things that are cheaper there. So what I ended up doing is the Aldi's is next to Walmart. And yep, that was art. So all these is next to Walmart. So what I did was I um I'm just trying to get the brunt of it out. I'm hoping it'll be fine. It'll be fine, right? It's gonna be fine. Um, so actually what I did was I put on like the app to order stuff online. And it is hot. So stinging hot. This is, I'm not loving this. this. This right here, I'm not loving. It's my own fault. It's my own things. I have encrusted seasoning burnt to the bottom. 
I'm thinking of the minimal mom right now going, why don't I have another pot? But I don't need another pot. I need a new stove. All right, that's so much better. So not good. And I, I mean, I have to use my mittens. I need to change the, um, I need to change the title back to hot mess kit cooking. It's, it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I'm aggravated. I'm trying not to be aggravated. It probably started off that my pots weren't put right. So that was too much. It's just, it's just a comedy of errors. All right, that doesn't smell burnt anymore. All right, Trish, let it go. Moving on. You can do this. I consider myself a great cook. That, like, just went into the garbage can magically. I consider myself, like, a great cook. I could wing some stuff and make phenomenal food. But I'm definitely going to say following directions is hard. All right, what does it say? Once water is boiling, add pasta. Cook until al dente. Okay. These are like half pounds. So this is like two pounds of pasta for eight of us. That's how that's working out. I wonder if my kids are going to come back and watch these videos and be like, she was crazy. She was crazy. That's what they're going to say. They're going to be like, or they might be like, what are you doing? I'm, oh, I'm learning how to do this. From who? From your grandma. It's crazy, though. But I did. Like, when I started making YouTube videos, I always kind of thought, I'm like, I kind of want my kids to get to have a friend. Um, don't get a black one. Total. Really? Can I get a white one? Because you wouldn't think white would show all the dirt, but then it does. This is too hot. All right. I, what it is is I need a sous chef. All right. What am I putting in that? Sliced garlic. Okay. Oh, don't don't get the wrong pan. All right. I gotta put the garlic in. That's why I still have the garlic. Okay. All right. How much garlic do I put in there though? Mm. How much is a sliced garlic? Thin sliced. Four, eight cloves of garlic. What? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm having a hard time with this because this is not nearly as phenomenal as fresh cut garlic, but I don't have time for that. So there you go. Don't have time for that. All right. And I don't think this really needs to, to saute or whatever it's doing that long. Because, you know, it's already, it's not fresh. It's not fresh garlic. All right. What else does it say? Okay. Add sliced garlic. One minute. Add remaining tomato. Add tomato and remaining Tuscan heat. Here is my tomato. I got tons of tomato juice in here. This is. But hey, I didn't have to cut that up either because, you know, that would have been another hour. I'm loving every plate. I'm going to keep ordering it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Now I'm mixing the tomatoes. And again, I don't think this has to cook that long. I'm supposed to put this stuff. This stuff, I don't know what this is, but I really hope... Like, I wish it could be like, can I buy this? This is one. It's garlic, rosemary, basil, cayenne pepper, oregano, and fennel. It smells amazing. And now I typically have this one. And this is salt, onion, red and green bell pepper, sugar, parsley, garlic, and red pepper. This smells so much better. FYI. FYI, just so you know, 
just, I mean, in my humble opinion, take it for what it's worth. Take it for what it's worth. I'm really upset about the stove. What are you doing? What does he say? Um, what is, what kind of box? What is my camp? No, come. What kind of computer do you have? Oh, he wants a computer. He is adamant to have a computer. Not yet. He wants a password. He wants a, um, okay, okay. We talked last week. Or this week, I don't remember what it was, about um, Duolingo. Do you all have an online alternative to Duolingo? Is what I would like to know. Oh, this is going to make me sneeze. Yeah, I'm going to sneeze. Look, I have another set of tongs. The big ones. Oh, what does my husband say? Um, he's sending me stuff, whatever. All right. It was boiling, now it's not boiling. We're getting to al dente real fast. Like, al dente not done, al dente. All right, so that's going. This is going. So then I'm supposed to put pasta water in here. I'm going to put the lid back on. Because I just feel like I can't get the heat on this at all. Don't get a black one. Jennifer, can I get a white one? Because everything's white. The fridge. I heard it's easier to keep white clean, though. I already want to paint it, though. But I've never painted an appliance. At all. Hmm. I Oh, oh, talking about Aldi's. So I went and got pancake mix from Aldi's. Because usually I get... Um, the crusties, the big bag, but then the bag never has a place to put it. So I bought two boxes of the Aldi buttermilk pancake. And I don't know what this one's called, but, but I really like these seals. And I mean, I almost got the cheaper one and I'm like, why are you buying the cheaper one again? Buy the good one that will save forever. This is two boxes minus like a pancake or like three pancakes, huge pancakes were made this morning. And I taped the instructions on the side. So what I figured is when I get it down just past halfway, I can buy another box, you know, do the little jig and pour it back in or wait till it gets down to the bottom. But now I realize like it just barely holds two boxes of that. And my goal is just not to store bulk items um, at all. Because it just gets to be too much. And my house isn't that big in learning um to live in this house with what it is and not just what you want all right we're still not there yet <coughs> this is the interesting part of the conversation and when my chicken's done resting i can totally cut that up because i still think i'm going to mix it all together and get my knife out mix it all together and um serve it more like a casserole than something i'm not gonna serve i'm not gonna make it this pretty I, it's not gonna be that pretty it's gonna be like mom cooked this and you're in luck and we have to leave in 30 minutes so there you go all right so i think the one hard truth well i don't think it would have been so bad today if my stove worked better but my stove doesn't work better um i think the hard truth is it doesn't, I mean, I'm a good cook and maybe it's because I'm old and I can't read the, um, print cause it's small, but add tomato. Oh, I forgot the salt and pepper, but it takes me longer and I'm not sure if it's just, it's not in my head. So I'm figuring out, it's like, I'm trying to follow somebody else's direction. If that's what it is. I mean, it's a thought. It could be. Um, oh, oh, oh. Okay. So, this doesn't take long. Then what it is, is I'm going to put in the cream. 
the cream cheese, and half my Parmesan. <gasps> I got the wrong cheese, y'all. It's a Monterey Jack. All right, I got to go get the right cheese. That would not have been good. I won't have to worry about every plate sponsoring me because I keep jacking up their recipes. I love them, but I jack them up. Okay. All right. So do you, okay, if you homeschool, do you do, so I'm, I used to year round. And after so many years of year rounding, my kids are just like, stop year rounding us because, um, it just feels like it never, there's a, not a stop. There's not a beginning. There's not an end. There's not a season. You know, they just feel like it, it grows into just the same old thing. Um, how much, how much, how much half a cup? One cup, two cups. I got to reserve two cups. Um, two cups of this pasta water. And so my kids are just like, you keep, it's just the same old thing. And so like that, the fact that there's not a season, it just wore them down, which then makes sense because if it was summer all year round, it would wear you down. The changing of seasons, you know, is very invigorating to say. So like, I, I get that. I understand that. And I, I will say when I first started homeschooling, I didn't really, I didn't really give it attention. You know, it was more like, I'm exhausted. Let me rest. Let's get back at it. I'm exhausted. Let me rest. Let's get back at it. And so the kids never felt like they had rest. But now as seeing that and I'm seeing like with the school and having some kids in school, and some kids home, I see the importance of like trying to stay on the same schedule with them too, would be good. So now I'm coming in, they went to school. What do I do with, you know, what do you do? Like, do you do anything special? My husband wants to go do a lot of stuff. He's like, I want to, he's, well, what it is, is I'm having the, our daughter's a, you know, a sophomore, but she was an older kid going in. So she will turn 17 as a junior, like in October. So she will, um, I don't know. I just see the end coming really quickly with her. And I've been kind of paying attention to that this year and being very attentive. Will it hit him? It hit him that he has this summer and next summer. And she's an adult. And, oh, I wish I had my scissors, my Dollar Tree scissors. So my husband's kind of figured out, like, she's an adult. You know, it's coming. And he's he wants to, I hate to say it, make up for lost time. I'm going to quit now. I've done it again. Cream cheese. Not sour cream. I put sour cream in my meal. I'm going to get the cream cheese anyway. Those cute little tubes. I can't believe I did that. There goes any chance of a sponsorship. Cream cheese. I think it's going to be fine. I'm just... It's, it's fine. It's, it's going to be fine. It's just a little more cream. It's fine. It's just going to be a little bit more creamier. Oh, and some of you are going to say, well, you did that because you were on YouTube. And if you're really going to do your meal, I don't know who's going to say that. Hold on. Let me get a knife. Scissors. I don't know if anybody's really going to say that. Teresa's going to come back and be like, oh, <laughs> you did it again. 
Um, yeah. Oh, well. It's not because I'm YouTubing at the same time and trying to hold a conversation. I mean, it could be. But I'm telling you, man, it's just the last day of school for the year. I I sat in that car because the high school, the high school sour cream cream. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Green tea sour cream. It's going to be creamier. It's going to be more. In fact, every plate's going to send me like a thank you so much card because now they realize they need to put two sour creams in this meal. I mean, I'm helping them out. I'm just saying I'm helping them out. Maybe, you know, I don't know. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, I grabbed the wrong. I'm feeding my family. I can lick my fingers. I'm not feeding you. Um, I'm just saying. Yeah. Oh man. I can't believe this. This is like Hot mess cooking with a bag of squirrels. Bag of squirrels because my ADHD is kicked in. And I can't keep my thoughts straight because I can't put the right stuff out of the box. Because I ate that ice cream. I was in that car. I came home and I wanted to take a nap. And then it's like, I know. I mean, we're going to eat this on the go. I mean, that's the truth. We're going to eat this on the go. And that's going to be that. I mean, it's really going to be done here soon. This thing is like a simmer. It's not even a, like a cold boil. A little extra cream. All right. It looks good. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know if it's fine. All right. Half of these, right? Is that what it said? I moved it again. Half of the Parmesan, half of the reserve water. Okay. Half of the cheese. Oh my word. See if I can cook these, so can you. I'm just saying. So can you. You can cook them. I'm over here messing them up. Blows my mind. Probably because I don't read directions very good. I mean, I do, but I don't. Oh, that looks good. This looks great. They're going to add sour cream to this recipe now. They're going to thank me. Nope. Yep. Add this pasta water. I don't know why you add pasta water. Why would you add pasta water? Okay. So I'm going to cut the chicken up. I'm going to cut the chicken up. I mean, it would be kind of good if this was green onions, though. I'm just not going to lie. This would be good with green onions. Cut that over here. Cut the chicken up. With my finger. No, no. Cut the chicken up into like little, like they say, I'm going to taste the chicken. That's really good. Every plate kind of knows what they're doing. They do a good job. So I guess my mom was doing Hello Fresh, and my stepdad was like, that make a lot of garbage, let's not buy that. I'm like, what? And then I was thinking about it because I've seen some of the like unboxing for HelloFresh, not a lot of them, but they do bag everything up. And I think one of the ways of them staying economical with every plate is that they don't. Yeah, I'm mixing it in. I'm just kind of hacking this recipe. I hacked it by adding some sour cream to the recipe because apparently that's what I felt like I needed. Um... But I feel like to keep it more economical, so it's more on the cheaper one. I don't like it when they say that's a $1.99 meal. I think they have, like, some specials they do that you can get it as low as $1.99. But it's 5 bucks a meal. And still, that's fine. That's cheaper than going through Culver's. I mean, we're a Culver's family. We all get the kids' meal. And then we have ice creams. And sometimes we save our ice creams. And with eight of us... By the next meal, we have enough to get a free dinner. So every, you know, you go through the second visit. How does that work out? That'd be 16. Yeah. So it's like almost every visit I get a free meal. So it, it really works out. But that's so much more expensive than doing this. Now, granted, I have to cook it. I learn a few things about myself. I practice patience. I make mistakes. But I am eating at home. 
It is healthier. It is more delicious. Just saying. It is more delicious. It's, I mean, we had the one, like I said, the Kung Pao beef bowl was our only one. And I put this on the review. I really think it had to do with the soy sauce honey glaze. Because I think if they would have came up with a different um, thing, it would have been... It really, it really would have been better, but that's my humble opinion. We're not a big soy sugar sauce people. Well, let me rephrase that. My husband is not. I'll eat it just fine. I'll eat it just fine. All right, so you can see kind of how lovely that looks on the cutting board. Mix it together. I do plan to show you what it looks like. Hey, will y'all get everybody together so that we can leave and eat, eat and leave, or leave and then eat, or eat, leave, eat while we leave? I don't know. Something like that. All right. All right. My pasta is done. Mostly. Oh, I bet you the pasta juice went in here so that the pasta would soak up some of this. This looks good, though. This actually looks really good. Feeling good because I made it from scratch. Now I'm going to show y'all. Do y'all do this? Because I've seen this as a hack and I'm like, oh, I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but I like it. All right. So we need to get ready to um, go to Dr. Jenny. But I need everybody. So, like, here's what you do, right? I got a bowl here, so I'm not pouring hot water. But you literally. Do that. That's like sorcery. I never, never. I've always would like pour it into the thing. Anyways, so um, this colander, so I could do that. Now I'm gonna bring it back over. Bring you over. There's my pot of goodness. I'm gonna turn this off. Put this over back on here. Kind of cooking on credit, kind of not. I'm gonna put it at a simmer. I'm gonna give this one more pour. All right, nothing's coming out. But then look, I don't like have to do anything. It's kind of crazy, right? And then see that? That's great. It's fantastic, man. Fantastic. I think I'm gonna add basil. I just feel the need to add basil. Ooh, the steam is hot. I just like there's I mean the Tuscan has um some green stuff but I feel like I need like fresh green stuff and I have fresh basil in my garden. So I think I'm gonna get some of that basil and do it up. I don't think she's getting the other kids. Alright, did I get most of the water? Oh I did. So I can pour the rest in here. Oh, this looks amazing. I totally messed it up, but it looks amazing. And you know, the whole, like, I mean, what was my biggest food pop? Um, sour cream makes it all better. It does, right? I think my biggest thing is my stove. I should have had my pasta water like boiling long before I even started the video because that's what took seriously the longest. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I don't think I need to add more water to it. I might. Okay. And then I can. I right. People got laundry done. I hope I've been, you know, I hope I've entertained you. I accidentally used mayo instead of sour cream once. We ended up eating out that night. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I hope you got your laundry done. I should have said, like, be prepared and do your dishes while you watch me cook. Or I got you motivated to cook, you know. So, look, you totally don't have to know. Oh, this is so good. It smells so good. Um, you don't even have to know what you're doing. And it still works when you use every plate. Oh, I forgot to put the link down below. So anyways, if you haven't used every plate yet, you can totally get 20 bucks off your first order by putting the code I have here on one of my other every plates. 
I have to come back and put that later because I didn't get to that again. But there you go. You can totally mess it up. And you have dinner made. Love it. I'm going to go find some basil in my garden, come back and cut that all up and put it on top, serve my kids, and in 15 minutes be on the road to go be awesome. Probably hit Culver's on the way back for ice cream because I got those Scooby Tokes. Love those things. Anyways, I will talk to you later. Bye. Hey.